y'all it's amanda welcome back to my channel and this is the start of another weekend vlog y'all ready let's go so i'm on my way to get my nails done y'all i made it almost four weeks with these uh i have two that are broken and that's it so that's not too bad because usually i'm like stressed and i will pick at my nails and pull them off and if it's been over three weeks and so this time i did pretty good <laughs> so i'm missing this one and this one but hey um at least they won't have to use tips but only on two of them so that works out good um i don't like tips on my nails it just they feel so heavy and i love when they can just use the dip on my real nails it works out but anyway uh i think i'm gonna get some like red Christmassy nails I know it's early but you know I'm filming vlogmas videos and I won't go back again till right before Thanksgiving uh so I'm just in the mood for some red since I've had like the kind of my Thanksgiving nails already like my fallish nails for a while so before I go get my nails done I am going to the library because our library is having a uh what do you call it? like their monthly book sale never been to it where like books are like two dollars and lower so i'll be interested to see if there's anything there i want to get i just wanted to check it out and then i need to go to hobby lobby for a little bit more on the christmas decor but do i really yeah i do uh <laughs> i don't know it's just what i feel like i need to i need to be doing <laughs> I don't know. I need to get some more stuff for my shelf. I want to get something that has like little lights or something. I don't know. I've used already like the Christmas decor that I would use in my house on my bookshelf. So I feel like I need a little bit more. Um, not that not that I really do, but I mean, anyway, I'm losing credibility here. As far as reading goes, I'm reading this book. It's called Where the Blue Sky Begins by Katie Poner. Powner. I never. I don't know how to say her name. I need to look it up, but I haven't. So this is published by Bethany House. And they did send me this to honestly read and review and it's already out and so i'm behind so i was trying to get this done and i'm really enjoying this uh it's kind of a wild story i think it's going to be emotional it's about this guy eric and he is sent to this small town rural town in montana uh, his uncle sends him there to like take care of the financial firm like this um just another branch that they have there and so he's there trying to kind of figure everything out he don't know where he's going he's like oh this is just a little redneck town that's kind of how he feels when he gets there he's like you know dressed up kind of like business attire and everybody there's really like small town country and i really like that i really like the, the vibes that we have in this little small town because you know i'm from a small town and i don't definitely understand that so at first he's just kind of like what is this place so he's trying to figure everything out and he ends up what's wild is he ends up like while he's driving through town of course he's like he stands out like a sore thumb in his little jeep but he is driving through town and this woman eunice parker and she's in her 40s and he's like 32 and she's in her 40s and so i can't remember how old if she's like late 40s or early 40s can't remember but i want to say 46 47 something like that um my memory's failing me on that but she is um dying of cancer she has six months to live and it's it's just her life is crazy right now because of all of that and um i think it's bladder cancer i want to say i'm not very far into it but she's got a bag and everything and it just it sounds like that's what that is um from what she was talking about i'm, I'm wanting to say that's what it is so eric ends up like driving by her really fast somehow and she ends up like being knocked off her scooter because her vehicle doesn't work she's riding this scooter around to get to places and it sounds like she doesn't really have any family there um and so he knocks her off her scooter driving by he sees her in the her in his rear view and he like keeps going and she ended up her scooter broke and she like fell into the bushes and her scooter broke so cut to he is ends up being her neighbor and she goes over there and she's like hey you knocked me off my scooter you broke my scooter uh you, you know hey i'm this this part's kind of unrealistic but it's fine um it's it's good for the story <laughs> and he it's, it's interesting but he she says hey you knocked me off my scooter i'm gonna uh call the police on you and you're gonna get arrested and all this stuff unless you 
will take me around and drive me around to all these different places and people that I have on my bucket list that I need to talk to. So she's got like a bucket list and she doesn't tell him that she's dying up front, okay? put this down she doesn't tell him that she is dying up front but she just says hey I've got these seven people I need to go to you're gonna drive me around because I don't have any transportation now and these people are on my bucket list and that's how they end up connecting and um, like I feel like this book is really gonna show him probably what matters most in life that kind of vibe he ends up taking her to all these people that she has on her bucket list and so, so I'm only 50 pages in but he took her to the first um, person that was on the bucket list and she was just apologizing to this lady at first so it's probably one of like those type of things you can kind of see where, where that's going um, so like she has all these unsaid things and things that she wants to do before she dies but again he doesn't know that yet and like I said we're only 50 pages in so I'm sure he'll know that soon it's a really engaging read it makes me want to read it uh, I just want to keep going and seeing what happens like it's fast-paced um, all that stuff. And then I'm also reading Waypoints by Sam Hewen. I started listening to this on audio and I'm like, maybe two chapters in and I just love his narration. If you didn't know, Sam Hewen is the guy who plays Jamie uh, on Outlander. So this is like everything from about his life um, in acting. We learned that he didn't have a dad growing up and how his mom had to raise him and his brother uh, in the very beginning here. So it's just like his life story and we're, we're just learning everything about him and, and his acting career and then how much he loves Scotland. It's just like a great adventure story so far. Uh, and just everything, and the way that it's being told is just like, it's almost like he's telling a real story. You know, it's not just, I don't even know how to explain it. He really narrates it well. And I love when nonfiction authors or nonfiction reads, the author will narrate it. It just makes the experience so much better. I am going to the library here, so we will see and I'll check in with you all in a little bit. Hey y'all, um, so it is 6.30 and I have not read anything because Blake's dad came over to visit and we just had a good evening, good afternoon with him and we were, so you can hear my kid, he's got his music going and everything so it is what it is, transparency, but he, um, his dad came over and we watched SEC football. It wasn't a great day with SEC football for Arkansas or Tennessee, but we still had a good time. We had some pizza, all the good things and right now I have got my evening coffee, y'all already know. And I love this mug. It's one of my favorite pumpkin mugs that I have. Y'all can tell. And yeah, that's what I do in this house. I do evening coffee, honey. You play with the oranges? Here, come here, buddy. <laughs> Say hi. He is wild tonight, honey. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm going to say that. Hello. <laughs> he has been running around the house saying, hello. <laughs> he didn't want to say it there, but he been saying it. Got my nails done and I'll show y'all. I meant to show you after I got them done, but everything was kind of crazy. Had to hurry home. Had to go get his haircut after that. So I just had to hurry home. But um, y'all, I, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Y'all, we have got the chromed out red this time, honey. Chromed out red. Um, she did like a white dip and then this is gel. It was like, it's so messy too. Like I can tell it's still all over my skin. So we'll have to <laughs> get it all done. But I love it. It, um, it's got like the, just the Christmassy vibes. Sky was saying it looked like an ornament, like the shininess of an ornament. I love these. So, lots of fun. I'll go back actually uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So, I won't have it on too long, but lots of fun. And after that, I went to the library, or before that, I went to the library and got some books. And they had their monthly book sale. And I've never been before, but I ended up getting several books here for like $8. So, I'm going to show you what I got. The first is The Paris Seamstress by Natasha Lester. This is a historical, secular historical fiction uh, it's 1940, dual timeline and present day. Um, it says, if you like the Nightingale and Lilac Girls, this is an unforgettable World War II novel that spans generations, crosses oceans, and proves just how, just how much two young women are willing to sacrifice for love and family. So I got that. 50 cents. Hey, why not? 
Then I got this Lynette Eason uh, Force Romantic Suspense Novellas. Hey, why not? Uh, protecting Tanner Hollow. So I'm sure, I don't know. You probably get, can't read this without reading something else, but I bought it, 50 cents. And this is the one I'm most excited about because I was just, I just did a historical, y'all haven't seen it yet, but I filmed a historical recommendations video uh, for historical fiction and historical romance. And this is on the list. And I say in that video, I'm pretty sure that I, I really need to get a copy of this for my shelf because it's one that I loved this year. I give this five stars and I've not talked a lot about it, but Where the Road Bends by Rachel Fordham. Y'all, 50 cents, y'all, 50 cents. And it's like brand new. So we're here. I love this book so much. I won't talk much about what this is about because it's gonna come out in my um, historical recommendations video, but it has a really cute romance, historical romance that I really enjoyed. I love the couple and my heart. So yeah, I got that. Then I grabbed a Liz Johnson. I don't even know if this is in a series or not, but it's the Red Door Inn. Probably in a series, but hey, it was, a, no, actually it is. Prince Edward Island Dreams number one. Hey, lucked out and said it was number one. There were so many people there. I just was grabbing stuff, y'all. I mean, these people were waiting in line just to get in there, honey. I was like, y'all. So, the next book I got was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is like a young adult thriller, I want to say. 50 cents, why not? I've heard people talk about it. Some of my friends have rated it th uh, three or four stars on good rates. Why not? And the last book that I got was J.R.R. Tolkien. Y'all already know. I've seen a Tolkien and I grabbed it. It come in today. Today. I don't even know what this is. But The Legend of Sigurd, Sigurd, and Gudrun. Gudrun. I don't know. But when I saw Tolkien, $2. We here. Why not? I mean, just grab it. You never know what you're getting. After that, I went to Hobby Lobby, which I'm not going to show the footage I took in there because that's going to go in a vlog this video. So, went to Hobby Lobby and I got some Christmas decor for the shelf gonna be in my vlogmas video so i'm doing like a decorate with me kind of thing and when we put our tree up i will put all that together where i decorated my shelf and have some like cute christmas music that kind of stuff so uh and i'll film like putting the tree up and that kind of stuff so i think that'll be fun um but yeah that's one of the videos i have planned and i got some cute stuff so just you know that'll be coming out in that video and that kind of thing what is he doing hold on what are you doing son Anyway, so yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna try to get some reading in tonight now that um, he left, Blake just left to take him home and we're just kind of hanging out this evening. Uh, I need to get some more of Same Humans book done. That's the plan. I need to really, I want to finish it tonight. Like I just want to finish this tonight. Easy, easy read, let's get it done. And cause it's 6.30, I gotta finish the book tonight. I've only finished one book so far this month. Who am I? And it's like the sixth, the fifth, I don't know. So there's so much to read. I feel like I'm getting a little slumpy already. I've got to do something. So, hey. All right, my kid, okay, I'll be back. morning it is sunday the time the clocks went back and i still got up at 6 30 my kid so <laughs> uh that last savings time does not happen <laughs> for parents you don't really get no um extra hour but because <laughs> my kid only gets up at 7 30 well he was up at 6 30 so yeah, but I got my coffee this morning. It's my second cup because the first cup was like, okay, I'm dead to the world, need to wake up. And now we have the second cup, which is like the actual, like, hey, I want this for the taste, not the caffeine. So, <laughs> got my fall hoodie on, sweatshirt, whatever. I keep calling it a hoodie. Uh, but I, last night I did not. 
finish this like I wanted to. I'm almost done with it. I've got maybe an hour left in the audiobook. This much is left, you can see. Um, really enjoying this. I'm going to give it four stars. Just um, a fun time uh, learning all about Sam's like adventure in acting and he does lots of hiking and just um, travels in Scotland. And the audiobook is cool because it's actually got like extra stuff in there where he, you can tell he's like done recordings at the beginning and end of some of the chapters. He's done recordings like with rain coming down where he's actually like running or, or traveling or hiking and all that stuff. And it's really like intense. So I really like the audio, not just for his uh, awesome Scottish accent, but for the extra details. And yeah, so enjoying this. And I'm just at the part now where he's finally starting to talk about how he got the role as Jamie and Outlander and all that stuff. So yeah, it's a good time. So I'll finish that soon. And then I'm gonna go on to where the blue sky begins. I didn't even read this yesterday. So I don't know if I'll finish this today or not. But I've also got several different audiobooks on my library app that I need to read that's gonna be coming up this week. I've got Tim Tebow, uh, the Mission Possible, All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. Um, it's due in five days, so, and seven people are waiting. Get it done, Amanda. Which I had the physical book, but still, I'd rather listen to it. Uh, let's see. Then I've got Fox by Nadine Brandes. That is our Christian book club pick for this month, so that's due in 11 days. Um, but there's nobody really waiting on it, so. And then Tim Tebow's Shaken. I wish he narrated his audiobooks, but no. Uh, and then I actually downloaded the Apple, Apple Cider Slaying audiobook by Julianne Lindsay. Y'all forgot to put it on my CBR. I said I was going to in November and I forgot. So I may or may not listen to that. We'll see. So those are the ones I have borrowed from the library so far. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just go from there. I have been so congested today. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's the crazy. So anyway, not really much of an update, but I did... I uh, edit my video last night. Instead of reading, I was editing a video. <laughs> of course. I was editing a Vlogmas video for uh, decorating my bookshelves with me. So the clips that I took at Hobby Lobby, decorating my shelves last night, and then some clips I took a couple of weeks ago. I put them all together, made like a little almost 10 minute video. I don't even say anything in it. It's just like got this cute Christmas music and sped up a little bit to be doing some decorating. And it's not time lapse because that's too fast, but it was like an iMovie I did like two times quicker speed and it made, it was good. It made sense like with a decoration. It was just the right amount of speed. So it was like taking down my, I was taking down my fall decor a couple weeks ago, filmed it and then putting up some Christmas decor and then finishing the Christmas decor last night. So yeah, it was a good time. And I hope that y'all will enjoy that. I think I'm gonna make that my day two Vlogmas video. I don't know, I'm just doing a lot of Vlogmas stuff right now and trying to keep up with this month and next month. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I do need to film a fall festival book tag. So this is not something anybody has even done, but my friend Marianne on Instagram, I'll link her Instagram below. She sent me a message and said it'd be really fun if I did a fall festival book tag. And she had these really cute prompts and everything. And I was like, that is so cute. So I really need to do that because we almost done with fall. Everybody kind of not really in the fall mood. Everybody's in the Christmas mood now, but we still in November. I still got the pumpkin spice. Hey, um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try to film that at some point. Plan on doing it today, but we'll see. Um, y'all can tell I'm congested. My, I, I got the deep voice today. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, oh, and I'll show y'all this. Every year, me and my family, we take, me and the hubs and my kid, we take, um, <laughs> my kid, he's trying to run. <laughs> he got Elmo going. But we take family pictures in front of our tree with our pajamas. I'll put a picture here of what ours looked like last year. It was just, I loved it. Even though he was, he was like wild, but hey, it come out pretty good. So, yeah, we got these this time from Carter's. So I hope they look good. And we ain't put our tray up or nothing, but it usually goes way over there in the corner. <laughs> so yeah, it's my favorite. It's just my favorite thing to do is put the tray up. So yeah, that's it for this morning. I'm gonna tidy up, get some laundry done, get this audio book done, and I will check in with y'all when I have it done. Okay, I'll see y'all.
y'all, Facebook. <laughs> I haven't updated y'all today. I like that in the morning. <laughs> Got me feeling some type of way. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> it's such a good bug. <sighs> I can't. Oh my gosh, and my jammies all messed up, looking so looking crazy. <laughs> I got Miriam's read with me on in the back. Almost done. Katie Pounder, Pounder. I don't know how you say your name, but girl. I I mean, oh my gosh. I'll update tomorrow, but just know that this book, I'm almost done, 40, chapter 43, oh my gosh, I got, I got, okay, I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow, woo, hey y'all, so it is Monday morning, and I'm just getting ready for work, and I wanted to just do a really quick final clip for this vlog, and I did manage to finish two books this weekend, so yay. <laughs> uh, Y'all saw last night, this book right here had me emotionally invested and just drained and everything. So I'll talk about this one in just a minute. But I did want to wrap up that I did finish Waypoints by Sam Hewen. I ended up giving this four stars. I really enjoyed it. I think if you are an Outlander fan, lover of all things Scottish, you're going to enjoy this. The narration was great. He had some extra things in the narration, which was cool. Some extra clips that were not in the book. That was cool. Uh, he just really talked about his life growing up, his struggles throughout you know, not having a dad and just trying to get into acting. And I just really appreciated some of the topics he talked about here. Um, like when he was an outlander, so shooting some of the scenes and just trying to advocate for himself as well. Uh, through that, he talked a lot about like his hiking. He does a lot of hiking and traveling and just all the details with Scotland. So yeah, I really enjoyed this and give it four out of five stars. And then, uh, Where the Blue Sky Begins, I looked up how to say her name. Katie Pounder. So, Pounder is how you say her name. I saw an interview. They were saying Pounder. So, that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> so, but, um, y'all, I love this so much. I'll talk more about it in my mid-month wrap-up, but just a really good book. I give this 4.5 out of 5. Just the ending to this really bumped it up. Like, during the reading process, I would say this was like three and a half, four, you know, like I was enjoying it, uh, laughing and just having a good time um, and emotionally invested in the characters and the writing style was quick to read. It just really made me want to keep going back to it. Like, I'm like okay, I want to go and see what's happening next. Uh, but then like once we hit 70% and all these things started happening and, you know, uh, it was just like my heart it really bumped it up it was so close to five stars for me the only thing that i was not really crazy about is this tiffany girl i didn't care about her part look here tiffany with an eye we don't care about you but <laughs> i get it i said i get the point of her but yeah so uh didn't really i wasn't crazy about her and then it was just disappointing that we didn't really have a lot of faith growth with the guy eric in here uh i was wanting more of that but overall oh my gosh when i tell y'all this impacted me in like a really emotional way. I was feeling the same way I did with Mrs. Kip. The book, um, Extraordinary Deaths of Mrs. Kip. I was feeling some type of way, y'all. Like, what an emotional roller coaster. Incredible impact on my heart. This book just makes you think about all the things in life where you're harboring your hard feelings, you're sitting in your feelings, you are not forgiving others, uh, and we just, all the things that we put off, right? And like, this woman had a bucket list of like, people that she wanted to go and ask for forgiveness and she waited so long in her life to just finally talk to these people and it was too late and because she was dying and it just makes your heart feel like i don't want to wait till it's too late like if there's somebody i want to reconcile with i want to do that <laughs> so a lot of emotions i loved how she talked to god so much in this story she would say god i'm scared like she would just cry out to him and uh it just my heart she just I, I love 
I love Eunice Parker. Okay. I, I love her so much. So, or you not Eunice, Eunice. <laughs> There's something in this book about how they say Eunice. And she's like, no, it's Eunice. <laughs> so, I don't know. You know, your girl can't say names. So, anyway, um, both of these books, y'all. I mean, not in the frame. Both these books, really great. And the next books I'm going to read are All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. That's on the list this week. Uh, the Blackout Book Club. I started the first chapter in this last night, actually. Uh, so, I think I'm going to like it. And then I'm buddy reading this Felicia from For the Love of Christian Fiction. So we're going to read a novella at a time and chat about it. So that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. The first one's only like 118 pages or so. So yeah, I think this will be a good time. So anyway, that's it for this vlog. Uh, I know it really wasn't a lot of things going on, but hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you'll have a wonderful week and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye y'all.